Good evening all. I'm working on the town section of the layout <clears throat> using uh, Gino Sharps from Gino's Model Trains technique for building roads. And what I'm working on here is the street in front of the town. Um, this is just to give you an idea of you know how, how things will lay out here. But uh, anyway, the um, the road currently comes down from the from the coal mine uh, across the edge here, and then it runs or will run uh, back to my heavy equipment dealer, which is right there where those glasses are sitting. So what I've done, uh, Gino recommends using um, foam core, which I have here, and I found some down at. Uh, Hobby Lobby, my favorite place, <clears throat> which is actually a uh, peel and stick. This is a, a piece that I've cut off the corner, but you can see it's got a peel and stick backing, which uh, works well for me. Um, I've got the painted uh, foam insulation board down here. Uh, so what I did is I just measured the distance between my little street running scene here uh, and the edge of my layout, left a little bit of space for some dirt and I'm uh, gonna gonna make some uh, construct some wooden guardrails out of some 1 8 inch uh, balsa wood so we'll see how that turns out uh, but if you haven't watched uh, Gino's how to on building roads uh, I suggest you do that I'll put a link to it down here uh, under the video and um, so what I've done uh, as I said uh, I've got the foam core down and then this section here which is going to represent the street I've uh, cut just deep enough to get through the top surface layer of the foam board. And uh, so that leaves you, uh, you know, just the styrofoam uh, or foam sticking out here. And, it, and it's rough and it kind of looks like asphalt. And that's the look I'm going for. So I don't know if you can see the, see the marks in here, but I, I talked with Gino a little bit last night just to get his idea on uh, widths of roadways and so forth. Um, this here is going to be a, a two-lane street. You can see the center line here um, with room for parallel parking right over here. Then the buildings will sit approximately here uh, and elevated a little bit on uh, some of this. Well, let's see if I have any of it sitting around. Um, well, all right, this, this is going to look awful, but it's, it's the back side of that um, mat material. So it's about the thickness of a sidewalk, at least in my mind it is. So I'll cut a rectangle of that that is big enough to fit over this section. And then the buildings will sit up on top of that, and there'll be enough room uh, for a sidewalk in front as we go down through here, parallel parking on the street. And then over here behind the buildings, where the street running scene is, there'll be about the same distance there for a, a little kind of a back alley sidewalk. Um, <clears throat> the buildings as you see them now will not be sitting there. They're going to be obviously up front here, sort of in this configuration. And uh, I've got some work to do on these. Always plenty of projects to do on a model railroad, but um, you know there's there's a missing roof, and you know I've got to work on these. But um, <clears throat> my thought here is to um, get one more building that is of the wider variety. I think there's a hotel maybe, which I think is you know there's enough space in there for that building at least. I think it's I think it's fairly wide. And I want to use some of Gino's awning techniques on the front of these buildings. So, um, but to start, you know, obviously you got to get got to get the uh, the street down. So um, let me grab the tripod and put this back so I'm not making you all seasick. Okay, be right back. So here we are. Um, let me move these out of the way for just a minute so you can see so you can see the back area. So as I said, you know, buildings are going to go here. 
there's a street running section uh, which comes down to an unloading ramp here. Uh, I'm going to sit down because I was <laughs> completely out of the shot and I may be still completely out of the shot in the last video. But anyway, uh, I have this little unloading ramp sitting here right now and um, this is just kind of a, a junk old uh, representation of a flat car. But um, I've got this set so that um, regular flat cars, the width will bump up against the sides here and the coupler kind of slides under the um, opening of the loading ramp and um, you know when you've got a regular flat car here obviously it sits higher and, and the level of the uh, bed of the flat car hits this perfectly so you know it'll be easy for the guys to unload the, the heavy equipment down the ramp and into the into the yard here um, on this side of the street running scene, I have some more foam board and uh, what I'm going to put back here is somewhere in this vicinity, uh, I have a train station. There's sort of a, it'll, it'll kind of sit on an angle here, uh, somewhere in that area. And I've also got, excuse my arm, um, a freight station as well. Uh, so my thought is to come to... Uh, you know, put those in that area. Uh, this end of the foam board here is a little bit loose, so I may end up gluing that down. But you know, you kind of get the idea. Parking lot here, uh, parking area over here. Um, right in here, I'm going I'm to redo this road. It was just kind of a temporary thing for me to kind of lay the uh, to lay the roads in, to lay the turnouts, and so forth. But um, so this will come up and I'll, I'll put another road in which which matches up with this. So uh, what I'm going to do now is um, use Gino's technique for um, painting the roads. And uh, I've got some black and white paint that I'm going to mix together, uh, acrylic, and uh, use his technique here for painting some roads. So you can kind of kind of get a feel for what that's going to look like. Um, so I'm going to pause the video here and um, go ahead and get that ready to go. All right, guys, uh, I've got my paint palette set up here with some, a blob of black and a blob of white on there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and mix some of that and start doing uh, some of the roadway here. So we'll see how this turns out. Need a little bit more white here. All right, so I've just got a regular old, um, you know, two dollar paintbrush here from I don't know Michaels or somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to take some white and some black here and just sort of mix mix in a you know a gray color. Again, this is supposed to look like asphalt, so, you know, weathered asphalt, all kinds of color combinations, streaks in there. I don't know if you can see the palette, but I'm just taking the, the paints and mixing them together here in the middle. And I don't want to get too much over here. Uh, but again, you know, that's going to be covered with that sidewalk material. So I've got this sectioned off into um, rectangles that are about uh, five inches long. Um, I only did that because my board is uh, 30 inches long here, and I want it to kind of, you know, even out the, the sections. So Gino, um, when he divides up his roads, he takes a toothpick and uh, marks a center line down the road 
and then also does some cross uh, some cross marking uh, to divide the, the road into sections. Um, I didn't have a toothpick, so what I used was the back edge of my X-Acto knife and just lightly um, drug it over the foam, the foam board and it uh, created some, some nice divisions. So it's going to take a while to get this done, so I'm going to go ahead and record it, but I will speed up the process.